controversy over the name Redskins is taking a new turn tonight. There's a new Associated Press poll that talked to about 1,000 people nationwide and nearly 80% wanted the Redskins name to stay. Jay Korf live in the district with whether people in our region believe that these results are really accurate. Jay? Well, Allison, Washington Redskins fans we spoke with today, quite frankly, overwhelmingly agree they think the Redskins name should and better stay. Walter Reeves is such a big Washington Redskins backer, he routinely hands out RG3 posters to strangers. I think it's about to all the Redskins fans. It's no wonder, based on the plethora of team paraphernalia in and on his minivan, that his family calls him Redskins. My nickname is Redskins. Really? Really? He and just about everybody else we ran into along the H Street corridor agree that a push to abolish the team's nickname has simply gone too far. No name change ever, ever. No Redskins, Redskins, Redskins. It's overblowing the whole thing. It fits the team. That's, a, that's, that's the name for the team, the Washington Redskins. A new nationwide poll agrees. A whopping 79% think Washington should keep the nickname, 11% think the team should change it, 8% are not sure. People say they take it a certain type of way because of the name, but I don't really think it's that serious anymore. Just this week, District Councilman David Grosso introduced a resolution with broad council support that says the team's moniker should be dropped because it's derogatory and racist. So we're asking Dan Snyder, the NFL, um, and others who are willing to listen to step up to the plate and really do something different with this name. Another DC resident goes as far to say the team's glory years will always be behind them as long as they keep that name. I think our franchise is not winning because we have an omen on our name and we won't change it. And we do know one thing for sure, uh, the Washington Redskins as an organization have no interest at this point in changing the name. Despite that fact, they declined comment for this story. Live in the district, Jay Korf, ABC 7 News. Thanks, Jay. Also new tonight at 11, President Obama